Vigo County school leaders say it's time to revamp education for today's students and tomorrow's workforce. Doesn't every student deserve to wake up the morning after graduation and feel like they have the skills and experiences to help them achieve their goals. A big curriculum takeaway involves evolving a graduation requirement. By the graduating class of 2027, students will need to complete one of the following. 30 hours of college credit, 30 hours of industry certifications, or 30 hours of industry credentials. It sounds like a lot, but communications director Bill Riley says it's not so much adding more courses as it is changing the content of what already exists. I think we need a culture change uh, in order to achieve that with our student body, right? Uh, we need to be talking much earlier with them about the importance of these opportunities that they'll experience in high school. So how will these 30 hour requirements actually work? Riley says the groundwork is already laid. He says the existing models for auto shop and healthcare careers show these goals are attainable. We have a great relationship with Union Hospital and we're already doing this for nursing students in our health careers pathway. Uh, where they can leave with a CNA. As for college bound students, they're already taking advanced placement in dual credit courses. School officials say it's about building on the existing framework to serve every student. The way that we get there is through partnerships with local higher education, uh, partnerships with local industry, and uh, credentialing our staff to be able to offer uh, those hours. Naturally, that training will come at a cost. Riley says that's something they'll continue to investigate. I think it's our hope that over time we incentivize our teachers to take on these credentials. Definitely like to take a look with the teachers union about how we can compensate our teachers. It's extra education school officials hope will transform the students experiences and in turn the community. Not only do we need to produce flourishing adults who are skilled employees to attract more businesses into Vigo County, we also want to help students see that Vigo County is a great place to stay and raise a family. A foundation for the future. In Terre Haute, Annie Johnston, News 10.